NEO is currently having a good start to the week, up more than 7% at the time that I'm recording. We don't know how long this is going to last. This morning earlier I made a video about um, whether or not this rally can actually have legs and I said that well we need some follow through for the Chinese stocks but also possibly a relief on the US indices um, which we're currently getting. So the signals are there, that's quite good. Let's see if this can continue on a technical level. We've broken an important resistance here. So staying above 22 US dollars would certainly be good. But this is not too much about um, analyzing some technical levels here. Um, this is more about showing you the, the macro picture and um, yeah, giving you some context why I think it's really early still in NEO. And I'm not saying that now is a good time to buy. Actually, of course, it's every time a good time to buy in, in case that you have like a very long term view on NEO and you can um, dollar cost average. And then over time, it hopefully doesn't matter too much at um, which particular day and time you bought if you can manage to average um, your cost basis there. Now I want to talk about this video by Sandy Munro, um, who is well actually quite well known in the industry, particularly if you've been following Tesla so far. So he is basically, um, it's his daily job to really look at competitors and, and he's doing that consulting other businesses, um, mainly in, um, automotive businesses actually, who want uh, yeah, that he is um, tearing apart some cars and look at the quality aspects and look at the engineering aspects. And he has now just posted a video that he is in, in Europe right now, in Norway, and yeah, getting his hands on an ES8. This is, um, right now, what I'm looking at looks pretty damn good. I think this is uh, something that um, it could easily jump into the US market without any problems. Um, looking at the gaps and whatnot, I've already had a chance to look at this a little bit. This car is really, from a, from a feature, sorry, from a, uh, a build standpoint, this looks very, very good. I like the, um, I like the style of it. It feels good. I mean it sincerely. I, I like that. I like that feel. It, it feels, it feels really, it feels really good. It's like a, a tight type of a feel, uh, like a BMW kind of feel. I think this is definitely a contender. So this is somebody who is on a daily basis looking at cars basically and really needs to know all of them, right? Because he is kind of um, comparing them. He needs to uh, catch up with the latest technology and the, the latest metrics. And he is just now being able for the first time to actually sit in the car and have a hands-on with an actual production car by NEO. Regardless of the feedback that Munro is having here, and by the way, it was surprisingly good. I actually expected him to have like quite a bit of um, yeah, things to complain about NEO, which in fact he didn't have. Um, even though NEO doesn't have a front like most of the Tesla cars, so this is a design difference between NEO and Tesla, uh, which one shows that Tesla is built more towards efficiency and second, but also that um, this is a different setup here with a seven seater. So there are some issues around that and uh, design uh, choices, uh, why NEO is going uh, that way. And so I was surprised to hear not too much negativity by um, Sandy Munro, um, although he, the only thing he pointed out was possibly the display size that it's not as big as he would have would have expected or at least in comparison to a Tesla. However, this is also not the latest model, right? He's not sitting in an ET7 or an uh, ET5, uh, which are built on the NT 2.0 platform. And so this is a quite old car already. And the point that I'm making is like, you know, um, you are possibly invested in NEO right now and you are kind of early with that because not many people had to actually the chance to sit in a NEO and drive it and have a proper view on the car, like the behavior, like how it feels, the, co the quality of the car, the looks in real person, which is quite different from what you see on the images, the way it behaves and actually you know, this can actually really make you only um, yeah, feel and uh, like and love a product in the way uh, ultimately, right? And so the fact that an industry insider like Munro is just experiencing this for the first time. Uh, by the way, he's been in China before and had his hands on a prototype, but not on a production car like this Neo ES8 here. 
Uh, this speaks for itself and, and this tells you that by the time more people are actually having a touch point with the brand, maybe in a new house at first, uh, but then also with the car, viewing it, sitting inside it um, and then buying it, um, this will actually just really get Neo going overseas and maybe even some of the analysts out there haven't themselves um, experienced the car so far. Personally, I was lucky enough to have um, been sitting in a Neo car comparing it to Tesla's and so on, dating back to 2018, if I'm right. Um, and well, it was one of the primary um, drivers of my early investment decision in Neo as well. So I still think this outlines like how early we are. It's just one of the signs. Um, this won't be the last positive review that we get from people that are kind of surprised to see that this is a Chinese car build quality, the way it behaves and maybe even the entire Neo ecosystem if you think about battery swapping, by the way, Monroe is pretty critical of that, but also the Neo life aspects, I think, you know, I try to tell about it here on the channel, but um, I guess until you really have experienced it and uh, until it really comes to life in a sense, uh, people won't fully understand it. And this is also why I'm always saying that, um, yeah, also investors out there are possibly not really um, grasping the essence of NEO yet, uh, hopefully to come. Um, that's not a certainty, but I do think we are early. Anyways, that's about the video. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.